Hi, my name is Clara. I'm the phlebotomist at the UFO Project. I'm Ben. I'm an outreach worker and counselor at UFO. My name is Giuseppe, and I'm an outreach worker with the UFO Project. I'm Alice, and I'm the clinical nurse specialist with the UFO study. This is a short overview of hepatitis A, B, and C, and the differences between each. Hepatitis is a virus that affects the liver. Hepa means liver, and itis is inflammation. So hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver. There are many different types of hepatitis, but we're going to focus on the three main types. Hepatitis A, B, and C. Hepatitis A. Hepatitis A is passed through oral fecal transmission, or when the poop from someone infected with hep A gets into your mouth. Hepatitis A usually occurs when someone infected with Hep A doesn't wash their hands after using the bathroom and is frequently spread through food preparation. It can also be spread through some sex acts such as rimming or anything that can get poop in your mouth. Hepatitis A can make you sick for a short while, but then it always goes away and you'll never get it again, so you're immune. Alternatively, there's a safe and effective vaccination for Hep A that will ensure that you never get Hep A in the first place. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is passed through the body fluids of somebody infected with hepatitis B, for example, semen, blood, or vaginal fluids. Hepatitis B can be transmitted through sex, through sharing needles to inject drugs, or from a hep B infected mother to her infant during childbirth. Hepatitis B can be mild or can be very serious. You can have it for just a few weeks and then clear the virus, or you can have it long term and develop liver disease or liver cancer. The good news is that there's a vaccination for hepatitis B that can help prevent you getting infected. The best way to prevent hepatitis B is to get a safe and effective vaccine. And if you shoot drugs, we highly recommend you get a vaccination for A and B. Hepatitis C is passed through blood. It's mostly passed through sharing needles and injection equipment such as cookers, cottons, rinse water, tourniquets, alcohol wipes, and anything that touches blood. Rarely, it can be passed through rough sex acts, such as anal sex without lube or fisting, anywhere where blood can be present. If you contract hep C, you may have flu-like symptoms for a short while or no symptoms at all. People with hep C can have no symptoms or be asymptomatic for 20 to 30 years. About 25% of people who contract hepatitis C will clear the virus on their own in the first six months. About 60 to 70 percent of all people infected with hepatitis C will develop some form of liver disease. Hepatitis C can result in cirrhosis, which is scarring of the liver, or liver cancer. Currently, there is no effective vaccine against hepatitis C, although some are being developed. The only way to safely prevent yourself from getting hep C is to use sterile needles and injecting equipment every time. Bleach does not kill hepatitis C. The best thing to do is get tested regularly, know your status, and use sterile needles and injecting equipment every time. Can hep C be cured? There is a treatment available for hepatitis C, however, it won't work for everybody. About 40 to 80% of people who get the treatment will clear the virus. Anyone can access treatment for hepatitis C. It's most important to stabilize mental and other health problems before beginning treatment. What's the type that you can get from food? That's hepatitis A. Hepatitis A is passed mostly through food. It happens when somebody who has hepatitis A doesn't wash their hands after going to the bathroom and then prepares food. If you clear hep C, can you get it again? Good question. Yes, you can get hepatitis C again, even if you clear the virus. Uh, and on top of that, there's actually different genotypes of hepatitis C. So if you are still currently infected with hepatitis C and you're injecting drugs with somebody else who's infected with hepatitis C, you can in fact get their genotype on top of your genotype. So it's really important to always use clean needles every time you inject. Can you get hep C from toothbrushes and tattooing? While theoretically it's possible that you could get infected from using a toothbrush, it's unlikely, whereas it's far more likely to get hepatitis C from sharing injection equipment. Tattoo equipment can spread hepatitis C if there's blood on it. It's very important that tattoo equipment be sterile and you remember that bleach does not kill hepatitis C.
Hepatitis A is passed through oral fecal transmission. A good way to remember that is that Hep A stands for ass. The best way to prevent Hep A is to get a safe and effective vaccine. So, hepatitis B is transmitted through body fluids. So blood, semen, vaginal fluids, breast milk, and from a mother to her infant during childbirth. So you can remember hepatitis B as B body fluids. Hepatitis C is transmitted when the blood of somebody infected with hepatitis C comes into contact with your blood. Presently, there's no vaccine for hepatitis C, so the best way to stay protected is to know your status by getting tested, never sharing needles or injection equipment. For more information, visit the UFO website at ufomodel.org, where you can find further resources and trainings. If you have any questions, please contact us at the phone or email listed. Thanks for watching and stay safe. <laughs>